In this week's Fix the Photo, we're going to look at images from our members weekly challenge on moody portraits. Here's uh, the entries that we had in. And this week I'm going to work on one particular image by Travis Patano, this lovely black and white character study portrait. So here is Travis's shot. And um, whilst I really like the shot, I don't like his giant signature over the image, but um, I really like the uh, photograph itself. But I do think that we can make a few tweaks and improvements to it with some small adjustments. So let's uh, get started. Just going to duplicate the layer. Remember that with these mini little Photoshop demonstrations, I'm just doing this very rough and ready and quickly so that we can get them done in under 10 minutes. Um, it's a very low contrast shot, which can work quite well. It's got a sort of slight sepia tone to it as well, I think. But I'm going to change the contrast in two directions on this, and then I'm going to also uh, give it a little bit of a selenium tone as well. So um, first of all, I'm going to make a rough selection of the area where I really want to increase the contrast a little bit, certainly down here into the beard side of the face and the eyes, maybe a tiny bit further out here. And let's get an adjustment layer for that. And then with that adjustment layer, I'm going to pull the blacks in a little bit deeper, pull the highlights up a little bit stronger. Now, uh, by contrast, I want to do the opposite on the rest of the shot. I actually want to reduce the contrast, lighten the shadows a little bit on the other area. So I'm going to get a new adjustment layer here, and I'm going to copy the layer mask from that one, like I've done there, but this time I'm going to invert it, so I'm affecting the opposite areas. And then with this one, I'm going to pull the darker areas up a little bit, which may even go towards a slightly solarized feel to the shot it might start to go a little bit odd but don't worry it's a kind of artistic effect that's going to be induced by the time I uh, play around with uh, also the coloration on the image let me just play around with that a little bit I'm just experimenting with the levels of there we go so that's the outer area now, by having these two levels of one of higher contrast and one of lower contrast really sort of um, gets you focused in on that face area. And again, remember, you can drop the opacity of your adjustment layer as you like. So if you feel the face contrast is too high, we could reduce that down a little bit if necessary, but I'm going to leave it up high at the moment. Now, if we turn all those off, that's what we started with. And now we've gone to that. And now I'm going to work this a little bit more. Um, I'm now going to add another adjustment layer, but I'm going to choose a color lookup table this time. I'm going to bring in a futuristic bleak color tone, which gives a sort of selenium tone, like the old days when I used to make uh, selenium prints. Uh, but I'm going to set this one into a different blend mode. Let's just take a look if we get anything. I think the darkened blend mode is where I want to go with this. And then I'm going to choose another lookup table for the um, for a light and blend mode. So I'm going to go into dark and blend mode on that particular color lookup. I'm going to add another color lookup. This one I'm going to go with horror blue. Um, but I'm going to set this one to light and blend mode. And then we've now got a combination of the light and blend mode lookup table or LUT on top of the dark and blend mode look. So we've got horror blue on top of futuristic bleak. The horror blue one is a bit strong. So I'm just going to adjust the opacity on the dark and blend mode. Then I'm going to play around with the opacity on the light and blend mode. And I'm just going to flick those two off for a moment just to see that's what it was. Yeah, I really like the look of that. That's without that one. That's without the other one. 
works quite well without the lower one, but I do like the selenium look to it. Now, of course, you can go in and adjust your contrast levels on each of those two areas separately. So if we wanted to reduce the contrast a little bit further, we're at 89%, we could drop that down, but I think it was, was quite nice up there at around about 90%. And then on the lower contrast one, if we wanted to take that back out, to darken in the image. Or, of course, you could go into the layer itself and start playing around with it to give the image some sort of stranger, you know, artistic effect to the shot. But I'm kind of liking uh, where I'm seeing the image at the moment. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to take all of those layers combine them into one new folder, just so for ease of comparison. That's what we started with. And with a little bit of tweaking, that's where I've taken it. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode of Fix the Photo. If you'd like to enter our members' weekly challenges, our photo critiques, or our brief challenges, then head over to Carl Taylor Education. Thanks for watching.